Vanilla. Adjective. Lacking distinction. Plain. Ordinary. Conventional. Vanilla Ware. Noun. A Japanese game development studio which spun off from Atlas and is known for its distinctive, vibrant graphical style as seen in Grim Grimoire, Muramasa the Demon Blade, and 2007's PS2 sleeper Odin Sphere. Five heroes, a Valkyrie, a Rabbit Prince, a Dark Knight, a Fairy Princess, and an Enigmatic Witch, come together in this strange hybrid of side-scrolling beat-em-up and esoteric JRPG, where sheep really do grow on trees, and your hit points have their own experience points. At the outset of the game, you play as Gwendolyn, the Valkyrie daughter of Odin himself, and after a brief tutorial level, you're presented a world of widespread political intrigue, underhanded dealings of all sorts, and, of course, an impending apocalypse. The story, while dense and sometimes rather obtuse, isn't long at all. However, upon finishing the game from Gwendolyn's point of view, the precocious little girl in her parents' attic, or, in other words, the framing device for this narrative, puts down that book and picks up the next which has mysteriously appeared. This one details the story of Cornelius, a prince who was turned into a rabbit-like creature, but continues to wield his sword all the same while fighting to find a cure. He controls differently, he starts back at square one, but the story is all the same, just from a different point of view. With this new perspective, elements that didn't make sense before suddenly come into focus, and after another fairly brief campaign, the next book appears, and so on. Each of the five heroes gets their own side of the story, and a handy chart included in-game details when in the overarching chronology any given plot point occurs. After completing all five scenarios, the final confrontation begins, consisting of, you guessed it, five different boss battles. By paying attention to the narrative and fulfilling its prophecies and deciding which hero squares off against which foe, you'll not only have an easier time, but we'll get to see the good ending. Choose incorrectly and, well, prophecies are there for a reason, bub. As mentioned in my preamble, the graphics are simply stunning. Vanillaware are known for huge, multi-section, vibrant sprites with fantastic ambient animation, and Odin's sphere hits that home in a huge way. The actions and movements of each character are richly detailed. Unfortunately, get too much rich detail on a PS2 game and it can slow to a crawl like Mega Man 3 on a hot day. That said, this slowdown tends to happen when you're doing something awesome, so if you need to perceive it as a dramatic bullet time effect, you're more than welcome to. I won't tell. The music is the kind of sweeping orchestral journey that just screams sword and sorcery JRPG while the voices, both English and Japanese, are performed with a fantastic intensity befitting an end-of-the-world scenario, though the occasional pseudo-British accent or quote-unquote period dialogue may grate upon a particular sensibility. The mechanics of the game itself could be the topic of a dissertation all their own. The advancement system makes the distinction between regular EXP, the kind you get from thumping foes, and hit point EXP, the kind you get from a fine meal. In addition, there's an extensive alchemy system that allows for the creation of myriad potions, everything from liquid fire to fertilizer. Seeds also play a large part in the game as they can be used to grow rations in the field, even cheap. Talk about organic. Further, each individual battlefield is a ring, as though you're fighting on the outside of a donut or some strange Flintstones-esque repeating background. Upon completion, each battlefield awards you a grade with faster clear times and less damage, meaning big bucks and better items. Odin Sphere will always have a place in my heart for not only telling a gripping and intriguing narrative, but for telling it five ways. While it might not be as long and involved as many other RPGs, its unique mechanics and exquisite attention to detail make it stand out from the pack. It's by no means vanilla. Perhaps it's pistachio, or rocky road, or some new flavor called awesome. <laughs>